Hi and welcome to another video. So in this video you'll be watching me paint two different paintings, um, both with acrylic uh, underpainting and oil on top. So sit back and relax and enjoy. The last month has been pretty hectic preparing for not only my solo exhibition which runs for three months at the Goblin Club but also planning my daughter's 18th birthday party which was the weekend after my exhibition and also helping our eldest daughter move house. I think the 18th was a lot more stressful due to the amount of people we catered for but it was a great night and I'm sure she enjoyed it too. So the opening night of the exhibition went really well and it was so nice to see lots of friends and family members there to support me. Uh, I also sold three pieces on the night so that was fantastic. Since the last video two weeks ago I've learnt so much about Premiere Pro and if you go back and compare that video to this one I hope you can also notice a difference in the editing quality. I've changed the way I've recorded voiceover and I also got a new faster computer which has made editing so much quicker. So this painting is called Study in Red and it was the last painting to be finished before the exhibition. I also started it four days before the exhibition, so no pressure, go me. Anyway, I'm happy with how it turned out. I don't generally paint red that much, but I think it works well with the greys. And I'm really trying to loosen up when it comes to creating textures. Um, I do have a tendency to blend the living snot out of my work, so I'm trying to place the paint and then just leave it alone. But after editing this video, I think I have ways to go. So we actually found this baseball on the veranda of our house when we moved in a year ago and I've wanted to paint it for so long but I could never seem to find the right objects to go with it. I think this arrangement does it justice and gives it that nostalgic feel I'm always looking for. Uh, on a side note, on numerous occasions my husband would take it to throw at some cats that were fighting in the yard so I'm actually surprised I still have it. And no, he's a terrible shot and he never hit the cats. And here is the finished painting, measuring 30 by 30 centimeters. And I made the frame myself. So this is some footage I took of the Goblin Club, which is right across from the beautiful Belmore Park. And it was so nice to sit out on the veranda and relax before everyone got there. I know I'm tripping, I'm falling in love with her drum breaks. She keep me safe from the gunplay when I'm hungry, she feed my soul. When I'm lonely, she keep me calm, they is funny. I used to want to grow older, travel with sight in these rounds. So they realize that she got me out of my mind. I'm trying to kick these nerves to grab hold to the microphone. Got him nodding along. Maybe she'll save the world for me. Maybe she'll right my wrongs if I'm coming on too strong. Oh well, only way to tell is by saying this how I feel and that's real. Special for me. 
So this is a new painting I'm working on, again going with the red and grey theme, but incorporating a few more toys from my collection. So there's a secondhand warehouse in town that sells some really cool old stuff, which is where I got the capstan uh, tobacco tin from. So the owners were telling me how they purchase abandoned storage sheds and there's usually only a picture on the shed with the doors open so they never know exactly what they're going to get. So far they've scored four cars and they've sold them all for a substantial profit. So not a bad business model really. So this is my drawing desk, 
which I never use for drawing, but it does have some handy storage drawers where I keep my oils on one side and my acrylics on the other. And sitting on top of my desk is my new computer. It's an Intel NUC or NUC and it packs a whopping 64 gig of RAM and has a two terabyte SSD hard drive. I actually thought they'd sent me the wrong item when it arrived because the website didn't have any dimensions on it. I knew it was a mini PC, but I wasn't expecting it to be quite that small. So that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll be finishing this painting as well as showing you how I varnish and frame my work. I have yet to come up with a title for this one. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. And if you'd like to purchase my artwork, please visit www.hollyartwell.bigcartel.com Thanks everyone and enjoy the rest of your week.